Hello, survival gamers. Welcome back. Dread is here. Well, everybody, the Enterprise is looking pretty good. This is, you know, I was trying to think if I was role playing, what would I be? We we're like pre Star Trek, right? So maybe I'm the guy that designs the Starship Enterprise, or at least starts making the Enterprise type ships. Something like that. That'd be kind of fun, right? So, as you can see with this particular model, I've got the laser cannons over here. I found out I can move the arm over to here and attach it up onto here. But in order to do that, I need to change one of the pieces up there. I also have an issue where when you go inside the ship, so you can see this blue dome thing, basically the deflector dish. Uh, there's a cabin directly above it. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything with this, but... Now that we are here, what will be our next course of action? Alright, well, we're in engineering. So, this is kind of the engineering area. Then I've got a ladder right here. Where... I don't need my pistol out. What am I doing? So I've got a window here. And another one there. This is the medical bay. So this is the room I'm having trouble with. You can see it's got this big dome here the floor so what I was thinking was I would go and have a cabin that goes in that direction or I could just keep it I don't know have something over here and then I have these two living quarters right but I find they're the exact same right So over here I have another living quarters. Need a hand? I'm just taking a look around. And they're they're two different versions of the same one. Anyway. And up here to the cabin. And let's just go over here. This is the meeting room where we talk about things and this is the cafeteria and over here is the brig which I don't have anybody in the brig right now uh, but just off of this meeting I hope room you're having a is good day. my yeah it's doing great how are you Cora your ship smells so much better than dad's like sure let's see what do I have got bleak house Christmas Carol, History of Pirates. Oh, I don't know. Well, I get, I don't know. Nicholas Nickleby, Oliver Twist, The Light of the Stars. There we go. Wow, thank you. You're welcome, Cora. Bye. Bye, have fun with the books. So yeah, and then this is my quarters. And apparently I have zero wire and sealant. Actually needed sealant. Okay, let's see if we can do some design in the ship. So we're gonna take a look at it. So I'm using the NG6 landing bay, and then I have the Dark Star ML08 Nova belly wide, and the reason is for the landing thrust power. The thing that I wanted to change. So yeah, that's this one, I think find that one's useful. See, so even has like the attachment point. Okay, good. 
So the next thing was the engines. I decided I'm going to end up switching to the other engines. Just because they are faster. So let's see, which one is it again? So it's the 1050? Yeah, 3015. The white dwarf. When I go to use that... Okay, so now my top speed's at 180. There we go. And then there's this thing here. So, this is what I was thinking, was I could take this and move it over. Like so. And then take this. Here, let me get this moved over. So put that there. Put the workshop here. Problem with the workshop is it doesn't match. Yeah, actually, yeah, the Nova Galactic one. It just looks better. Right? Especially on the outside edge. Okay, we're going to have to add a door. The starboard door. Passway. Yeah, I want the passway. And I just need a... Oh. I need to put this in there. And... Do I want a door into the workshop from here? Probably not. So I'm going to have to add a storeroom, companion way, probably a companion way. But I can also put another one here. See, I'll take this. Want the passageway and draw G or another one that's a passageway. So put that one there. Grab both. Put them there and that one there. Cool. And then we get to add see here so we want the shutter but we want the Z flip to this one here so the four or the aft so the aft one is the shutter but I want the four one because I don't want to have the actual shutter so if I have the so this is meant for at the front up here but if it was there then it would end up going and having a shutter door that you have to hit a button in order for it to open. I want them to be open all the time. Now I need a porthole and I need to flip it. Okay, so there we go. We have the porthole areas. So I got some windows. I have, yeah, a pair of windows down there plus a pair of windows up there. I do have the ability to add another one up here. So yeah, the, I was thinking if I take this one out, I can add another room. But what room? The one that I didn't get to put in here. Let's see here. So we've got the all-in-one berth. Armory. I haven't done an armory, have I? And then I can move this. I can put a hallway in here. This is really starting to change things. So, for example, right now, 
I have the mess hall here, but I'm gonna move the door over to here. Right? What is this one? Is this so it's the door to the yeah, to the captain's quarters? So yeah, so I've got an entrance coming in here, an entrance going in here into the brig. But now I'm going to move this. I mean, I could... Alright, so this is, this is the... the along. Yeah. So we'll put that one there, and then this will act like a a way to walk around. So should be able to walk all the way around here. And then this one being the captain's quarters, I'm going to change it over to captain's quarters 2 by one So we got a new captain's quarters. Alright, and then I need a door though. It's my, my nice door. And I want to move that because it's in the way. Leave that there. That way I don't have to... That can be in a corner. Instead of being right in the walkway. Okay, I still need to place... This bin somewhere. Okay, so... This is the one that I have. It's the discrete cargo. And it's 7,500 shielded and I've got two of them to make 15,000 so I can throw a couple of these things on uh, a few of these these ones are at 4,000 so these are discrete I could put two of those on I'm gonna just try with these I need to put them somewhere Okay, so I could put them there. Looks like it'll fit there. Now that's pretty discreet, right? Can't even tell it's there. Kind of fills that area too. It's not like I'm going to be viewing through there. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Okay. So we'll delete this. So we're at 15, 7, 8. But my mobility is down to 97. So yeah, it's like super fast at 180. But my mobility is not very good. You know what? I don't need this here. Put that in the hall. I have these ones underneath. Yeah, that's just for viewing well in a combat situation. So you can just run over and take a look down below and up above. That's why that's in the battle station. Alright, well, I think that's it. I know the mobility is a bit of a pain, but you know, maybe we could add... Yeah, there's the blue one. And... So yeah, I could switch to blue. Have it all blue. Or all yellow. Oh, I'm gonna have to go all blue. For now. Okay, I think I'm good. Like, what else can I add? Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna add some thruster arrays. There, I think I'm done. Alright, let's go for a tour.
All right, let's see if everything is where it's supposed to be. Hello, Vasco. Is there a reason why you're standing right at the Captain. front of the ramp here? So yeah, it's attached to the landing gear now. engineering and it's very engineering so again in the infirmary okay so this is where it's new so it just goes into this room here with the window and I'm straight into the bridge or into the room here. What am I saying? This is the cafeteria. And then you run over here. Over here. And then this is the hallway. Yeah, it's a nice open hallway. And this is my room now. Very nice. Okay. So this is my bed now. Yeah, I like it. It's good. There's a toaster. It's always handy. Okay, yeah, then we're into this room. And the way to get out is over here now. So it's not right in the way. So I should be able to just run through here. Through here. That's the way down. And then now I'm into the machine shop. Got all the benches. Cool. I like it. It's better layout. Now let's see if the ship can handle. Sometimes I just want to turn off the drive so we can float around. Let's see how quick this ship is. Cruising at about 230. And then... Oh! Well, I got hit. Got a haul 99. death. One down. You're done. Me. Jackal. We could use a vacation. 
If you're feeling generous, you could help us out. Or we can just dust your ship. Oh, really? If that's how you want to play it. <laughs> we got you now. Welcome. Now, if only I could go and like. Okay, so we're gonna go with. There we did. We got him. Okay, well, it's a pretty small ship. Hey, anybody here? <laughs> Once again, watch it, Andrasia. Triumphant. Did you get him? Not that guy. Hey, what's up? Got him. Take over ship or leave the ship. Okay, so... Let's see what they got first. Xeno warfare. Some chunks. Bad people, bad jokes. Okay, knock knock, who's there? Broken sword, broken sword who? Oh, never mind, it's pointless. Oh boy. <laughs> Why don't Terramorphs eat clowns? They taste funny. Alright, Galacticat. The fruit seller. In the year 2298, Arthur Paul Lamont released a novel, The Fruit Seller. Come down here, tasty thing, rasp the voice from the fruit cellar. I won't hurt you. Oh no, I just want a snack. On your soul. Okay, well, I don't know about that guy. Ship's a bit messed up. On to the next. We got here a spacer hyena. Wonder what the other ship is. Here comes the hyena. What kind of fun would that be? Alright, so this time we just want to take out Alright, 
myself. Keep targeting engines. There may not be life here, but we should still be cautious. Sounds like somebody else is here. Yeah, I just saw the ship. Oh, there we go. And that's close. Think anybody will come around? Oh yeah, there's four of them. down. Oh, and then they leave their buddies behind? Really? Nothing to get collect that way. Eh? I guess just XP. Survival game players, space game players. We have modified the ship. Seem to be doing pretty good. Bought a bunch of guys. Remember to like and subscribe. And come back for more. Starfield action. Also, when you like and subscribe, you can also check out my podcasts of different games, such as Shrouded and Conan Exiles and a whole bunch more. So, join me in my video game adventure. Well... We're talking about what could be an infinite number of parallel universes, right? If yeah. that's really true, how different do you think they are? Like, are they really similar to this one? Or really weird? Is there one where we're all lizard people? Or one where time runs backwards? What do you think? I'd love to see dinosaurs flying spaceships. <laughs> Giant sized spaceships? Or tiny dinosaurs? Wait, why not both? Well, I kind of do hope it's all true. It really would mean that anything is possible.